So what we're going to do at this point, because we, we do this periodically, is we're going to do uh, a demo of the effect of power supply upgrades on, on a piece of audio equipment. Um, the basic, there's a, there's a lot going on here. Try not to be distracted by all the stuff on the outside. It's the inside that counts. And what we have is what we would call in the Angela Young Gilbert Young an I-806 integrated amplifier in the middle of all of this. Okay. Um, it's got a it's got a native power supply capacitance of about 1.1 million microfarads or 1.1 farads, which is which for an integrated amp is a lot to begin with. I mean that's probably about two or three times of what you would have in the average audio system anyway. So what we propose to do, well not, I'm not proposing to do it, I'm going to do it right, right before your very eyes. I'm going to add power supply um, supplements to this until we have it up to 37.5 farads, which is which is about 75 times what you would have in the in an average entire system. And we I can do it while the music is on the fly, so you can actually hear the music change as we go. Okay. Any questions at this point? I, I have. I'll, have, I'll give you. You've got all the time. The questions. This only again. This only takes about. Well, actually, it's going to take about seven minutes now because there's. It, all we have to do is play a track. Um, and any questions you have at the end, more than welcome to listen to. So you need, you need to take on the super cat. Sure. Back end. Back right. end. That's all. It, hmm? Back end. The back end's out. Back end's out.
Any questions? <laughs> no questions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell you, I can tell you, I can't tell you how it works. Okay, I just, I'm not technically advanced enough to understand. I can tell you why, why I think it works, one guy's opinion. I mean, I, I spent the better past of the last, better part of the last 40 years playing music and conducting ensembles and teaching, and I have a, a ton of exposure to brass instruments and woodwind instruments and, and live real instruments. And I can tell you the two things that I've learned in in that 40 plus years of, of teaching and performing is that a an ensemble, a wind ensemble, and, and, and an orchestra too, by extension, is never going to be any good unless unless the players in that in that group can breathe properly and unless they can articulate properly. Those are, everybody everybody actually it's funny, it's about people think it's about technique and playing notes. It's not everybody can play notes and count rhythms to a certain degree. But it's that it's being able to produce tone and being able to start notes in a way that gives gives the instrument its characteristic sound and those are the those are the most important parts of the waveform when you're listening to high-end audio right you have to in, in the same sense that you have to provide air for a trumpet to make a sound properly you have to provide energy right and it's not just about the amount of capacitors i mean more is better applied in the right way but it's also about it's also about how the wiring is rooted the, the quality of the solder joints um, the hand-built nature of the whole thing, like it's not mass production, it's not circuit boards, it's like it's like straight wire. So the transfer of energy, the, the gathering of energy, and the transfer of that energy at a given time, in real time, when you need it to happen, is of supreme importance. And that's, I mean, that's that's why the Angela Young, Gilbert Young stuff gets built like that. And that's why it's it's different, but we we like to think it's it's more musical. I can play more music now, <laughs> if you like. I know that's a lot of talking. Thank you. You're very welcome.